Hey, what's up everybody? So new segment time here for your Wednesday. We are going to start doing something that, uh, to be honest, I probably should have done a while ago. We're gonna start tasting some hot sauces. So the first one we have here is from Arizona Gunslinger. It's jalapeno pepper sauce. Now they make a couple. I snagged a three pack, which was the, the uh, this one, <laughs> obviously. The green jalapeno pepper sauce, and then and I believe it's habanero chipotle, I think. So we're gonna try these out and see if they are any good. But I've gotten a lot of recommendations uh, for these folks. Obviously out of uh, Arizona, Mesa, Arizona, there we see. And uh, like I said, it's, it's come pretty highly rated from folks just in my normal inner circle type of deal. And, and I thought, hey, uh, let's just give it a shot. But, uh, well, I guess if I can get the darn thing open, you know, there could be a knife, maybe three foot away. Can I reach it? No, I got it. It's fine. <laughs> so I'm just going to try this straight up here. Um, I have a spoon. Mmm, smells good. It smells kind of tomatoey. I'll just get a little bit of a dab on here. Do they specifically say what's in it? Uh, let's see, ripened red jalapeno peppers, vinegar, and salt. So, peppers and salt and vinegar. Oh. Oh, man, that is good. Wow. I could eat that on anything. Goodness. Um, there's quite a bit of vinegar. It's a little salty. I, I might say you could step down on the salt just a little bit. Let me try a little bit more. Oh, man. It is like a far more complicated, no, not complicated, far more complex Frank's Red Hot. It's a little bit hotter than Frank's, probably on par with maybe Tabasco. So it's not going to be like a real high Scoville rating thing. I don't think I ever need to get Frank's again. Because <laughs> I keep Frank's to just make like buffalo sauce with just butter and, and Frank's. But I think that this is better. This is better. Man, yeah, if you haven't tried Arizona Gunslinger, give it a try. It is darn good hot sauce. Um, but yeah, not super duper hot. I would say on like a 1 to 10, it's probably like, probably like a 2. There's no lingering burn. This isn't something that I feel like would give me heartburn or anything like that. It's just a very pleasant eating sauce. Like a, this would be something that... You just put on the table. Put this on. Oh, God, this would be so good in eggs. Oh. I'm just thinking of the possibilities because, like, everything I use Frank's for, I could use this for. I believe it is a little bit pricier than, uh, than Frank's. If I, I don't remember the exact price right now, but I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out. Uh, if I can find the link to the three-pack, I'll just put that in there because that's a good way to start. So... Yeah, Arizona Gunslinger, jalapeno pepper sauce. That's great. Uh, man, if I had to give that a rating, just because it's so darn good, and it's such a universally appealing sauce, I'd probably give this like a solid... Because it's so tasty too. I, I'm going to say like an 8.8, .8, like on a scale of 1 to 10. That's, a, that's, a, that's as solid a sauce as you're ever going to get. I mean, for, for what it is, it's, it's not, uh, it's not going to like, um, it might not wow you with like some, you know, crazy flavor, but it is, it is a sauce that you could put on anything you could possibly think of that you put a hot sauce on. And if you don't want to burn your mouth off, bang. 
All right, folks. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this first uh, hot sauce review. There will be plenty more. Again, this is I'm planning on this being every Wednesday. Uh, they'll kind of probably be shortish videos like our midweek snack. Uh, so let me know what you think. And if you have any recommendations for other hot sauces, make sure to let me know. Uh, if you'd like to send anything, P.O. Box is down there, of course, as well. Uh, but yeah, aside from that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.